The Rays weren't the only thing that I grabbed on my visit to the West Coast. These are my game store pickups for the week, and it starts now. Every week I showcase the video game pickups and collectibles that I've gotten for the week. Uh, this week is no different, no exception here. I have just gotten back from California visiting family. Now it's a little bit different of a situation over there. Everything is still on lockdown due to COVID. Um, I was lucky enough to find one game store um, and I went a little bit crazy when I was there. Uh, however, here's what I got for you. Let's start with the first item. We're gonna go with Home Alone for the Super Nintendo. Now I have Home Alone 2, ironically enough, but not Home Alone. Home Alone wasn't notorious for being a very good game. Um, actually the opposite. It's actually laughed upon on a, a lot of scales, different types of games and things like that. They just, it just didn't live up to the hype. But what I will tell you is I bought it for $14.99. Now, um, pricing these out, very difficult when you're um, not with your familiar territory. Uh, that's what I found. I'm um, in California. It's not like I'm right down the road. So I, I, I it's for some reason I, I wasn't detailing like to make sure I wasn't getting a bad deal. Now at the end, uh, when checking out, I did ask if there was anything that uh, could be done. Um, the employee there was very, very helpful and was able to give me a couple of these games for free. Um, now, sure, they weren't like really expensive games that I was given for free, but it just shows that, you know, it, um, they understood that, you know, I did see what video games had value and it kind of a basic understanding of um, not saying that they were overpriced, but I mean, it is what it is. Um, I, I, I can't say that I'm disappointed. Moving on to the next one. Let's go with a original Nintendo entertainment system game. I go with Worm Journey to the Center of the Earth. Now what makes this game, <clears throat> I, I don't want to say special in that respects. I actually didn't know anything about it. I seen it and <laughs> the only thing I could think of is Journey to the Center of the Earth, which is the movie with uh, Brendan Fraser. Now obviously this isn't, uh, the movie based game because it's all the way back from uh, the 80s um, but that's what caught my attention to be honest with you now, I looked it up looked up YouTube videos of uh, um, people playing it and and it did look it looked decent like hence why I can justify spending $24.99 on this purchase so there's that one let's move on to the next one all right <laughs> another Nintendo game had to add this when I seen it uh, to my collection because I have reviewed it on a previous video. Um, I'm gonna go Boy and His Blob. Okay, so when I did the review originally, um, I, I didn't quite understand the game in, in its entirety. I understood it, but it wasn't one of those things where I was like super pumped on it. I, I did unfairly give it some marks, which um, in further looking into it, it actually is a, a pretty good game for its time. Um, I bought this one for $14.99, so uh, a little bit higher than I think the price point that it's worth, but I had to had to own it because I knew it was one that I reviewed based on gameplay that I had seen. So there's that one. Moving on. Oh, guys, this... This game, <sighs> what could I say other than this made my trip, okay? I am a huge Mega Man fan. 
And for Super Nintendo, I picked up Mega Man X. Mega Man X. I haven't played the X uh, version of Mega Man. I've played Mega Man 1 through 4, I think it is. But uh, we're talking Nintendo age. I haven't played a lot of the new age Mega Man games. Um, super pumped to do it, though. And I am going to play this game sooner than later. Um, I did pick this up for a uh, steep price of $39.99. So, game collectors out there, you know that some of these games here um, can cost you a good fortune. I mean, heck, there's some games that are worth thousands and thousands of dollars. Now, I was confident on the value of this. Now, if it was X2, I looked into the value of that ridiculously high value for it. Justfully so, but um, either way, happy that I was able to find this. I would happily pay the $39.99 for a game like this. Okay, let's move on to an accessory. I'll explain. I bought for an N64 the expansion pack. Now, this, I don't understand why this wasn't in their stock on an N64. It to me seemed ridiculous that you had to buy a special expansion pack to play things like Donkey Kong 64, because I guess it wasn't, the processor wasn't, um, couldn't process the graphics of a 64 game like that. Um, all I know is that I knew I had to have this. Ridiculous as it may seem, this is a $35 accessory. Now, something like this you can probably find for about 20 bucks. I hadn't found it at my local game store. So um, buying this, I knew I was going to need it. So I, I added it to the tally either way. So there's that. I did play Donkey Kong 64 for the first time in a very long time as soon as I got home because I wanted to try this out. And I wanted to play Donkey Kong 64 because I haven't played that in forever. So um Moving on. We're going to go with one of the cheapy games that was given to me uh, for free when I went to check out. Uh, it's an N64 game. It's bottom of the ninth. So just a simple baseball game. No, nothing crazy. Um, now, their N64 selection was pretty uh, in-depth. They did have quite a few things that you could uh, uh, choose from. But... Um, the only thing that drew drew me to this really was its price point of $3.99 because it was the first shelf that I looked at. I actually went straight to that in the Nintendo games, and I'd seen this when it was $3.99, so added it to my beginning stages of my pickups. So, um, not disappointed. You know, I, I need to have 64 games. I'm limited. I only have probably about 35, 40. Um, by the way, here's this. Let's go with... Genesis game. Let's talk about T2. Terminator 2 Judgment Day. So they had two games for Terminator 2. They had the Terminator 2 arcade game and they had the Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Now I've seen the arcade game. I played the arcade game. I wanted to have the actual Judgment Day. And I, I, think, I think I was wanting to look for that originally when I had went to my local game store and I first started looking. Um, not that it was something that the, the, a pivotal point in my collection or anything like that, but I had seen they had terminated uh, to the arcade game and I was against getting it because I wanted to have this style of gameplay. Now I was able to pick it up for $9.99, which uh, uh, again, so, all of these games here, from what I've seen, the, the price point was about $2 off. So um, when I got in those free games, uh, it kind of made up for it. So um, it, it wasn't, this was, this was a good pickup either way. So going on to the next one. Okay, N64 game. I was talked into this. Well, I wasn't quite, they didn't have to twist my arm or anything. But my sister-in-law had told me uh, to get a bug's life. So... I said, all right, I get that. Mm -hmm. 
it was a, well, they had two of them over there. They had one that was priced at about $16.99 and this one that was $8.99. The reason that they had priced it at $8.99 because it had all these stickers on it, property, blockbuster, things like that. Um, easy stickers to get off. So when I seen it and it was a, almost half, I'm going to go for that because I can just take the stickers off. It's fine. And it's not like it's a game that uh, was a must own or something that would bring back memories from the past because I never owned this game when I was a kid, so... There's that. Off to the next one. Well, that concludes part one of my two-part series on video game pickups from California. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me that like and subscribe too because I have part two coming your way next Tuesday. Uh, feel free to check out my channel too. I have plenty of other videos uh, full of like mystery box revealings, uh, some more of my game store pickups, and even some VR action. So, um, feel free to take a look at that. Some links in the description of some other content and we'll see you next time.